Hello everyone, it's Danny here for FilesNation.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some mods that you can install to try and create the effects of Skyrim Special Edition, but using mods that are out there and available today. We're going to take a look at five mods which should enhance your game to try and make things look a little bit more like the Special Edition, which will be coming out for free later this year for anyone who has all the Skyrim DLC. Uh, the first mod that I've installed to try and achieve this effect is called the 2K Texture Pack. Uh, it's by a modder called Nebula. Um, what this does is it replaces most of the textures in the game. There's over 6,000 textures in the game which have been replaced. So, for example, if we take a look at the uh, you know floor textures here, these are much higher resolution than the stock ones that come in the game. Same for wall textures, and basically quite pretty much every texture in the game has been replaced by this mod. Uh, it enhances the game quite a lot. Uh, as you can see, much more high resolution. They are available in different sizes. There are uh, lower resolution ones and high resolution ones, depending on uh, you know how powerful your machine is. Uh, the second mod you can get is called EMB God Rays, which will add the God Rays effect to the game. Uh, not easy to see at the moment because it's quite dark around here. I'm going to see if I can try and get some kind of uh, daylight. I'll have to fast travel for that, but basically, oh, well, that's quite an intense effect there, <laughs> you can see for the god rays. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of makes the map look quite funky as well, but I, I quite like it. Uh, let's try and move somewhere that will look nice with god rays. Um, let's go to solitude. Uh, so yeah, basically what this does is it kind of adds uh, god rays. You need uh, it's by a mod called Clement Out, just to give the appropriate credit. Uh, you need to install the EMB series from embdev.com in order to be able to use this mod. So bear that in mind, you have to install the extras. It's one that you have to install manually as well. Uh, you can't use... Uh, hello, did you pop in a bit there? You can't use uh, uh, the mod manager to install this one. But it's quite simple to install. You basically just drop a bunch of files into the root of your Skyrim folder and you're done. And yeah, this basically adds kind of basic god rays. They're not that noticeable, I don't think. Although I've not been able to find the sun to be able to just stare directly into the sun so far. That's just a loading screen. It's always cloudy in Skyrim. You can kind of see the the effect, I guess. But yeah, it, it is some kind of a god ray thing that you can install, so that, that's one thing you can, you can do. Um, on the same vein, another mod that is worth installing is called Enhanced Lights and Effects by uh, Anamorphous. Uh, what this does basically is it adds more realistic light sources in the game. So basically to show this off we should probably find somewhere indoorsy. Uh, that means going back here. I'll tell you what, let's fast travel again. Sorry, this isn't going well. Uh, this is a little off somewhere inside. So yeah, basically it adds more realistic light sources. So anything that produces light, such as fires and even windows and doors and stuff like that, they all produce a more realistic level of light. Uh, it also enhances the uh, visual effects, so darker rooms are dark and bright rooms are bright, if you know what I mean. So if we go inside, and this, I don't know what, what this building is actually, but whatever, you'll see that things look a little bit more, what the f fucky ducky is going on here? <laughs> Okay, so that's Skyrim for you, I guess. Anyway, yes, uh, this building is not a particularly good example, but basically, it kind of makes uh, you know fires and, and windows and things produce a more realistic level of light. That's a lot of rain. Uh, taverns are probably the best place to see it. All the taverns have their own different lighting effects depending on where they are and, and stuff like that. So in this tavern for example these the oh there, there you are there's a nice example all this lighting effects and stuff are all based on where the tavern is and the climate are based on where it is and stuff like that so it kind of makes it uh you know more realistic i guess fires look nicer as well so they're they're quite enhanced uh transparency effects and shadows candle smoke so the smoke's more realistic um all this stuff basically is, has been improved. It also improves things like water and snow. So I think there's a river out here. We can have a look at the water, see if that's been improved. Another mod as well, which I can show you by looking here, is called Static Mesh Improvements Mod. And this is by uh, uh, SIMM, which I think stands for Static Improvements Mesh Mod. I don't know. Basically, ropes and things that are wrapped around logs like this are normally quite 
flat and low polygon, whereas uh, this makes it more 3D realistic. Uh, looks more, much more like rope, and it's not just rope, obviously, but it's anything that uses static meshes, uh, so chains, anything that's involved in. So, so this fire over here, for example, probably has a improved static mesh, I guess. Anything like, anything like that. Oh, the waterfall. You know, that's been enhanced. Let's have a look at the water as well, because like I say, this has had some enhancements. So that sh this should look nicer. This is thanks to the enhanced lights and effects mod that improves the water. So that's been improved somewhat. I've never seen it rain like this badly in Skyrim before, but there you go, I guess. Uh, yeah, so and also the final mod that I've installed to try and make things look a little bit more realistic is called the Skyrim Flora Overhaul mod. And what this does is it replaces all the trees and flowers and things like that with more realistic versions. Again, something that uh, the special edition of Skyrim will probably do since it's going to enhance all of the models and textures and stuff like that. So again, another thing you can do to try and make it look more like the special edition today is install this mod. This is by Vert and it basically replaces all the trees, plant life stuff like that with more realistic versions. Um, there are different versions you can install, so I've kind of gone with this uh, summertime kind of version, which is why everything looks really green. Uh, everything's kind of in full spring if you like, but there are different versions you can get. There's a normal version, like a trimmed down basic version, uh, which you know has the more uh, autumn kind of look to it. So yeah, the, these are five mods that you can download today to try and make your game look a little bit more like Legendary Edition. Um, Legendary Edition, sorry, Special Edition. Obviously that will be coming out later in the year and probably will do a better job than I've done. Uh, <laughs> but obviously if you can't wait for that to come out then... Why am I signing on this rock? If you cannot wait for that to come out then this is something you can do today just to try and enhance the game a little bit. Thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out FilesNation.com where we've got all the latest news, um, reviews and stuff like that from the world of modding. We've also got some uh, cool community forums that you can sign up to. Uh, come and check us out there. Uh, also follow us on Twitter at FilesNation. You can also find us on Facebook and the Steam group and all that good stuff. Basically everything you need to know, it's all at FilesNation.com. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Ta-ra.